A midday for the Homo habilis, as usual, is a time to rest after a tiring morning of foraging. Eyes closed, body relaxed, letting the gentle breeze slip through the canopy to ease the muggy heat of the ancient forest. But this time, noon is no longer as peaceful as other naps. A danger is silently approaching, shattering the stillness. In the distance, a giant wild boar suddenly appears. Its eyes are cold, flashing with anger. Two razor-sharp, curved tusks are ready to ram anything in its path. The Homo habilis startles awake, just in time to catch the boar's vicious gaze fixed straight on them. Without hesitation, the Homo habilis jumps up and bolts the moment the boar charges like a whirlwind. The chase begins thudding footsteps on the ground, grass and dry leaves exploding into a dusty cloud behind. The Homo habilis runs full speed, bursting through bushes, leaping over large roots, every sense sharpened to find a way out. Luckily, the Homo habilis spots a tall tree ahead, its trunk thick enough to grip. They climb with all their strength, hands clawing into the wood, step by step higher to get beyond the boar's reach. But the boar doesn't give up easily. It growls, scrapes the earth around the base with its hooves, glaring up at the Homo habilis in rage. It refuses to leave, lingering under the tree, pacing as if waiting for the Homo habilis to come down. Time passes, the sunlight fades, darkness begins to blanket the forest. The wild boar remains patient, growling in bursts, tossing dirt and grass as if to threaten. At last, deep into the night, its patience spent, the boar quietly departs. Perched in the tree, the Homo habilis listens to the smallest sounds to be sure the danger has passed. Hearing nothing more, the Homo habilis carefully drops down, feet touching the ground lightly, eyes constantly scanning. The Homo habilis starts running fast, trying to leave the danger zone. But unexpectedly, the boar hasn't fully gone. It hides in the nearby darkness, as if waiting for the next chance to strike. Seeing the Homo habilis, it charges again with all its might, and the chase resumes. Footfalls pound close behind, breath grows ragged, the Homo habilis knows they can't run forever. In desperation, the Homo habilis darts into a nearby thicket, hiding within the dense leaves. Thinking itself clever, the boar stops and rams the bushes to flush the Homo habilis out. But the boar doesn't know this is the real hunt the Homo habilis prepared in advance. Traps have been set throughout this area, and the Homo habilis is luring the boar into them. As the boar pushes deeper in, a loud crack rings out. The ground beneath it gives way, and leaf-covered traps snap shut. The wild boar is caught. It thrashes helplessly, straining to break free, but ropes and sharp stakes pin it down. The Homo habilis emerges from the thicket, breathing a sigh of relief. Cheers rise from afar as other tribe members hear the signal and rush over. This is a major win for the Homo habilis, a huge catch that will feed the tribe for many days. Together they hoist the boar and carry it back to the shelter, talking excitedly along the way, eyes bright with pride. Back at the cave, a fire is kindled, crackling in the dark. The smell of roasting meat fills the air, blending with the tribe's lively chatter. Juicy portions are shared evenly, each person savoring the reward after a long, tense day. For the Homo habilis, this is not just a full meal, but a victory over harsh nature, a testament to the ingenuity, patience, and extraordinary survival skills of our early human ancestors. As on any other ordinary day, Today, too, the hunting and food-gathering journey of the Homo habilis begins. They walk slowly but cautiously, just as they do every day, prepared for anything that might happen along the way. While weaving through a vast grassy field, the husband's eyes lock onto a figure in the distance. A deer is grazing with its head down, looking peaceful in the wild. The couple stop and crouch behind a large bush to watch. They plan to approach slowly, relying on patience to catch their prey. But suddenly, while they are observing, a long, slithering shadow silently moves through the tall grass. It is a giant python, also on its own hunt. 
The python moves forward slowly, each motion smooth yet powerful, making no sound at all. When close enough, it suddenly lunges at the deer. With incredible speed, the python coils its massive body around the deer, tightening loop after loop. The deer struggles desperately to break free, but the snake's grip grows tighter, draining its strength little by little. Seeing this, the homo habilis wife grows anxious and looks at her husband. They know that if they don't act, the deer will not escape the deadly coils. In that moment, they decide to take action. The husband quickly runs to a nearby tree and grabs a large, sturdy branch. With the branch in hand, the homo habilis man charges toward the python to begin the rescue. He swings the branch forcefully, striking the python's body. The strong blows force the python to loosen its grip and turn its head toward its attacker. The snake hisses, opening its jaws wide and flicking its long tongue threateningly. But the homo habilis man does not back down. He keeps striking the snake's head and body, while the wife picks up small stones and throws them at the python to add more pressure. After a fierce struggle, the python finally realizes it cannot win. It slithers backward, slowly releasing the deer, then disappears into the tall grass. The deer, now free, lies on the ground, panting heavily. The homo habilis do not try to chase it down, knowing it is too exhausted to be useful as prey. Instead, they wait a moment, watching as the deer slowly recovers and finally runs off into the deep forest. The rescue complete. The homo habilis couple resume their search for food. Fortunately, their efforts are soon rewarded. Passing through a sparse forest, they spot a large tree with thick branches full of ripe fruit. The red and golden fruits hang heavily, releasing a sweet, inviting aroma. The couple eagerly approach and look up with excitement. They sit under the tree's shade, sharing the sweet, ripe fruit. Birds sing above, and the wind rustles through the leaves, creating a peaceful moment after such intense tension. The homo habilis chew slowly, savoring the sweetness and feeling their bodies recover after the exhausting morning. They know that life in the wild is always full of challenges, but with courage, intelligence, and teamwork, they can overcome any danger and survive. When they have eaten and rested enough, the couple stands up and continues their journey. They carry a few leftover fruits wrapped in large leaves, slung over their shoulders for later. By now, the sun is hot, shining brightly on the path ahead. With tools in hand and senses alert, they walk on, ready to face whatever nature may bring, knowing that each day of survival is both a challenge and a victory over the harshness of the wild.